it's not just a problem in Syria, but other places too, like Iraq or Congo. We'll have more on that in just a moment. But first, we want to take a look at some of the new technologies being used to help amputees in the United States. Here, many amputees are veterans of war losing limbs on the battlefield. CCTV's Hedrick Sabrandi has insight from the U.S. state of Colorado. How did the alignment feel? On a recent Saturday, 28-year-old Chris Tate found himself in a Boulder, Colorado research lab having reflective dots placed all over his body. Tate's left leg was amputated below the knee four years ago. I was on a bike, like a pit bike, and I got hit by a drunk driver. Tate was here to test several sports prosthetic devices. The dots help track in great detail how a runner moves. There's so many amputees out there. I've actually learned that recently, just becoming, becoming one myself. There's, and there's so many questions that I had. Prosthesis-related questions that Dr. Alina Grabowski of the University of Colorado hopes to answer in a three-year study funded by the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs. We're trying to understand how uh, changes to the existing technology affect performance. And that way, if we can understand that link, maybe we can make a better prosthesis in the long run. Unlike running shoes, which seem to get more advanced each year, Grabowski says prosthesis technology is 15 to 20 years old and could use some updating. She thinks the devices the South African sprint runner Oscar Pistorius made famous at the 2012 Olympics actually put him at a disadvantage. He's not able to generate as much force on the ground as a non-amputee. The height's still good, everything's good, cool. Here, by measuring force a thousand times per second and motion a hundred times per second, Grabowski hopes to learn how the height and stiffness of different devices help or hinder Tate's performance. For the same amount of force, you'll have more give. Yeah. So it just feels a little bit softer, a little squishier. Doing good. Not a lot of people have the availability to change different prostheses. They normally get one. Some people would say some are better, but we don't know that answer yet. That's what hopefully we'll see after this study. The research could lead to better prosthetic design and benefit veterans, whether they're athletes or not. We're hoping to help them out since they've helped us out. It could improve lives in the population as a whole. About 30 more seconds. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Boulder, Colorado.